Bitcoin Technology Fundamentals, I am Ami Teshragwar, I am PhD Scholar. In this tutorials series we will learn Bitcoin Technology Fundamentals. In this Bitcoin Technology Fundamentals video tutorial, we are going to learn Bitcoin addresses. What is Bitcoin addresses? It can be elaborated more in few small topics. 1. Bitcoin Clients In this we create and control private keys, enable security, display information about the Bitcoin network, display transaction information, distribute events to peers. A Bitcoin client is the end-user software that facilitates private key generation and security, payment sending on behalf of a private key, and optionally provides useful information about the state of the network and transactions. Information related to the private keys under its management. Syndication of network events to other peer clients. 2. Bitcoin address, it is basically a location for Bitcoin payments. A Bitcoin address is a unique identifier that serves as a virtual location where the cryptocurrency can be sent. People can send the cryptocurrency to Bitcoin addresses similarly to the way fiat currencies can often be sent to email addresses. However, the Bitcoin address is not intended to be permanent, but just a token for use in a single transaction. Unlike a digital wallet, a Bitcoin address cannot hold a balance. 3. It can be created by any Bitcoin user using a Bitcoin client. 4. We can understand this in a more detailed way, think of an address as an email address, except Bitcoin addresses are only used ones, single-use token, Bitcoin addresses format. Bitcoin address is an identifier, account number, starting with 1 or 3 and containing 27 to 34 alphanumeric Latin characters, except 0, O, I. Bitcoin addresses can be also represented as a QR code. The addresses are anonymous and do not contain information about the owner. A Bitcoin address can be obtained for free, using, for example, Bitcoin software. Most wallets will create them automatically when you request a payment. For example, in certain Bitcoin wallets, select new address. A wallet comes with an address by default, which is why things can get confusing at times. But, although a wallet comes with an address, it's important to remember that it's not the same as an address. A cryptocurrency wallet can consist of a string of different addresses. The fact that it's called a wallet can be a little misleading because it doesn't actually hold all your credit cards in the same way that Apple Pay does, for example. Instead, a cryptocurrency wallet is more similar to a keyring because it holds a copy of each private key and its corresponding address. If it's a good wallet, it should also automatically generate fresh Bitcoin addresses with every transaction. So regardless of whether you own just Bitcoin, or Ethereum, or a host of several different cryptocurrencies, all you need to do is open your wallet to gain access to all the different addresses contained within it. As you might expect, there are different ways you can access your cryptocurrency wallet, on a desktop, on a browser, or by using a physical wallet. Otherwise known as cold storage, physical wallets are more secure because they're offline and less susceptible to hacks. You can also obtain a Bitcoin address at a Bitcoin exchange or online wallet services. There are three address formats. A, P2PKH, begins with 1. P2PKH, pay to pubic key hash, legacy address format. P2PKH is one of the oldest Bitcoin addresses in the crypto world and is still a legacy Bitcoin address format that has been used in the crypto world. Though it is not SegWit compatible, users can still send Bitcoins to other SegWit addresses. Transactions with P2PKH is slightly costlier than other SegWit addresses because these addresses are longer and take bigger space. P2PKH addresses always start with 1 and maybe 26 to 36 characters long. 1 VMZ Stweck defn 504 m 4 gfg 7 xgen 2 is an example of P2PKH address. B, P2SH, begins with 3. P2SH, pay to script hash, address format. P2SH is newer than P2PKH and starts with 3 unlike 1 in P2PKH. P2SH is slightly complicated than its older counterpart P2PKH and has several functionalities. Transactions with P2SH are more elaborate and has high security features including a multi-signature facility. The 34-character long address allows multiple digital transactions with multiple addresses and that too at lower fees compared to P2PKH. For those who want to do non-native SegWit transactions, they can use a feature called P2WPKH and P2SH which is quite simple. 
The 34-character address reduces the risk of human errors and allows easy transfer of funds. C. BEC32 BEC32 SegWit Address BEC32 is a new Bitcoin address that is the most advanced one compared to the other two addresses. It starts with BC1 and is longer than P2PKH and P2SH. BEC32 is a SegWit address and supports multiple wallets and several other addresses and is the most popular address that is used today. Transactions with BEC32 are faster and fees are lower and also reduces the chance of human error. Bitcoin addresses, specifics. 1. Can be created offline. 2. Case sensitive. 3. Precise. 4. Most wallets provide authentication, signature. 5. Methods to validate addresses. 6. Can have multiple private keys. Bitcoin addresses, key considerations. 1. Addresses are used to receive payments only, not sent. Bitcoin addresses are only really used when receiving Bitcoin. Unlike our real world addresses, they are only meant to be used once. The idea is that for each Bitcoin transaction, receivers will generate a unique, single use address to provide senders. 2. Not intended to be reused. It is possible, but never recommended. You can't return to sender. One curious aspect of Bitcoin is it doesn't actually track from where transactions are sent. Unlike a typical letter, which includes a return address, Bitcoin transactions do not. 3. Addresses are not accounts. 4. Addresses are not wallets. 5. Addresses do not have a balance. Thank you for attending the tutorial on Bitcoin addresses. This was just a small introduction. In upcoming tutorials I will elaborate more on different topics. The next tutorial will be uploaded on Topic Bitcoin Networks. The next tutorial I will upload on next Saturday.